Hey, check it out. How y'all doing? It is your favorite rapper's favorite rapper, the best film writer and director in St. Louis Fact award-winning published author, journalist, activist, business owner. Y'all already know Lacey G. So the Turner. I am here with uh y'all already know one of the part of one of the greatest groups to ever hit St. Louis. You know what I'm saying? Uh just doing a lot of business thing. I think baseball players and baseball or softball, which way you be doing it? Uh, both. But baseball, softball player, we here with Key Wine, Key Wine, Key Wine, y'all already know. Uh, what's, what's, been, what's, been, what's been cracking, bro? I ain't seen you in a minute, bro. Yeah, man, I'm just over here building building up these these key wonderful moments. <laughs> key Wine, you still be wearing green, man. You know, that was the favorite color for this. Well, you know, blue and gold equals green. You're <laughs> <laughs> Back, rolling up rolling up green we good see, see rolling up see always green money green roll it up green are you still um, doing your uh your vapes nah i stopped uh, the vape uh vape. man i thought that was gonna be a lucrative business you know what i'm saying bro. yeah man it's all about the team you know it's all about the team but i did i did gain a great relationship out of that you know what i'm saying um the investor that did it is one of my best friends now so okay that's what and that's what it's about building those you know solid relationships so uh he's, he's so, a financial advisor so she that's yeah, 10, he, long, 10 million that most <laughs> but that uh, but in one way <laughs> but, you know, so look man, everybody already know the basic question you know what i'm saying i want to get asked some you know some new stuff stuff that's been going on people ain't never probably don't know nothing about. So I see, you know, you've been working hard with Murph and everything. Uh, I know you always supporting your brother, Murphy Lee. Um, I saw he had dropped the track called Second Time Around. Uh, I really love that track, you know, cause you know, you I, I always love the songs where you can feel the, you know, the realness, the the stuff that you've been through and everything. And in, the, in that song, he had a, a line where he was like, you know, he was famous and everything, but broke at the same time. Did you experience any of that on your on your uh, thing also? Like you was more famous, but you know, even though you was eating, you wasn't getting the money uh, that you was, you know, supposed yeah. to get. Right. So broke is an, uh, definitely an uh, opinion and it's, it's based on who you are. You feel what I'm saying? So I broke is still somebody else rich. Mm -hmm. we, just know, we just know who he was and what we'd have done for the game and in the game to not be who we knew we was about to be now. You feel what I'm saying? So definitely feel that way. You know what I'm saying? And if Murph feel that way, then I'm like one fourth of him. So mm -hmm. you no, know, I felt that way. I just know how to word it. You know what I mean? Right. And I also heard you say, because I know a lot of people think this, that uh, money make you happy. Like money doesn't make you happy. Or, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people think, oh, just because I get this, then I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be set for life. I can do it. So clarify, what do you mean by that when you say money doesn't make you happy? Uh, money can't make you. Money Money makes people around you happy. Uh, because, so we just happy because we're able to give somebody around you some money, if you think about it. Because yeah. it's, only, it's, only, it's only so much money you need, right, in the world to really operate. Nice. So really, the extra money really be about being able to help others. So it's really for somebody else. You feel me? So right now, I probably got, I probably had the least money I'd have had in the entertainment business, but I have the most happiness. Uh, so now I'm trying to raise, raise the money and add it up with the happiness. I've never heard nobody say that the way you just said that. That's like really true. Like the money makes the people around you more happy than you. And that's true. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you, you just like, be, yeah. if you're that type of person. Yeah. Some people, the people. So I know, I know for sure. I can speak for me and Murph. You know what I'm saying? That we them, we got raised to be them type of people. So uh, we probably, we probably did a lot of helping a little early, uh, a little too early. A little you know? too early. What, 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 you mean, what you mean by that? It said in the song too. It's like don't spend your money till you got it, got it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's like we don't know what got it is because we came from nothing. So if you get two hundred thousand dollars. 
how would you spend it? How would you spend your first 200? You see what I'm saying? And in reality, you ain't know what to do. You're going to spend 60 of it just living. You're going to spend 60 of it just living with money. So that means, oh, that's all. I got that. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, let me get no rent. Okay, it's 4000 Ain't nothing. Let me get down payment. Okay. You know what I'm saying? A bunch of other. So what you really can do with your first 200 when you think you're getting another 200? Mm. And then you get helping people and you want them, you know, shit, they done did a whole, your mama and your grandmas, and they done did, they done helped you all their, all their life. So as soon as you get a little bit, you're going to try to figure out a way to help them or help so, whoever. So let me ask you this. When um, when y'all made it, did, is it true like the, the family members you never heard of came out the woodworks and all this, you know? No, nah, not really, man. Okay, so you ain't see that. Hey, what's up, cuz? Hey. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, I mean, we get that, but we it never get far enough to get no to no money thing. It's just, of course, you're gonna get new cousins. <laughs> you saying, or cousin, they just find you. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with that. Like, if you talking in the living room, you'd be like, you know, it, it's same way. If, if 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 a picture show up on the news, if you show up on the news, and you in the room, all oh, this tight, somebody walk in and be like. Nigga, that's what's name, son. Who, Auntie Betty? Yes, yeah, Auntie Betty, son. It ain't no different. You feel what I'm saying? You're just, yeah. you're just able to be seen now. So now it's like a conversation in the living room. And then somebody else will say, hey, that's your cousin. Now, when you see me next time, you're going to be like, yo, I know, hey, we cousins. I know Lorraine. I know Duke. I know Auntie Bob, Auntie Jesse. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, it's just like, it turned into that. It just be funny when people come up to me and be like, yo, I'm Murph's cousin. And I'll be like, huh? <laughs> You like, see, I'm her brother. I, I don't know you. <laughs> her real brother, like for real. Hey, what's I'm up? Talking about real mama brother. Hey, what's you know up? Hey, what's up, Kiwan? I'm Murphy. <laughs> Yo, Kiwan, like, how you doing? Man, I'm. Yeah, you know I'm Murph. I'm Murph cousin and shit. <laughs> but I know what they be. It be it be weird though. So you can't really. I learned not to react because that might be. In, his main girlfriend cousin, right? I got you, yeah. I you know what I'm saying? So it'd be like, yeah, I feel you, but you ain't like my uncle's son. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> so let me ask you this. So, you know, I know this, but you know, it's always been this thing in St. Louis in the earth that be like, uh, Delhi and y'all never helped artists or brought out, you know, helped anybody else get on and everything. What do you have to say about that? So. Well, for one, I don't say that. They say Nelly. Okay. They don't say and y'all. Okay, okay. What do you think about that deal with Nelly? You know I know the real already. Well, you may, I mean, well, everybody think they know the real, but it's. Mm. it's I got it, I, when I got it from you, be fucked. <laughs> right. No, but it's it's not, right, I see. It's not, it's not about faults. Mm. You know, it's about, it's about your mind frame, right? So. Correct. It's hard because. A person like Nelly, when he comes in the game, his thing is, it wasn't easy for us. Yeah. So you got to think about who us is. So as a St. Lunatic, so the way his mind frame is, is like I worked hard to make sure they was cool. That's five people. That's a lot of people. If you, if you name a art, name another artist that got five artists. Okay, cool. So now, so it's really, so really, it's that mind frame. It's like. If you hustling, if you hustling on the street, you get a hundred birds. Shit, you think about the people that's right here. Everybody wants you to worry about everything. Everybody not built to worry about everybody. Right. I, I I know for sure Nelly's not built to handle the wake up in the morning and think about you. Nelly's an artist. Yes. Some people are artists, business, and then become artists. So it's a different mind frame. Like, and then it's the artist's fault too because I'm gonna put this in. You will get the help from, you might get the help from me and Murph or from Ali or from Slo or whoever it is. But you, if you a whole time, you look, you wait for Nelly to come in the door, then it's not going to be ever considered help. Uh -huh. If I give away a thousand turkeys on Thanksgiving, they'd be like, that's what's up, is Nelly coming? <laughs> so so, so it's, it's almost like when I watched the new edition movie, I've seen how people was looking so hard at Ralph Shreds Van. Uh -huh. as for real, but you skipped over Michael Bivens. Uh -huh. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> so, 
So it's just, it's just hard. It's, it's hard anyway, because you got to realize we put all our energy into making one person big in the world. Right. And, and I don't know, like you so said, now, it's like- We're uh, time. Right. I love it. What'd you say, Keep going. No, go ahead. I was going to say, uh, and like you said, it's like a mindset, because I remember when I met, like this was like the greatest epiphany to me. I had met Spike Lee at Webster University. And I saw all these people running up to him, giving him like they films, like, yeah, help me, help me. And I'm like, this man got his own family life. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't expect another man to help you. You have to do, you have to put yourself on. You got to work hard on your own. You know what I'm saying? Get that mindset to be like, I have to do this on my own. You can't, like a lot of people expect others to oh, help me, help me. But they don't want to do the work. We got to figure out what on my own means. Mm -hmm. That's a big word. Mm -hmm. and figure out how you how would you feel on the end so that's how you should approach people so going up to somebody like that it's almost like going up to a girl be like hey let me fuck mm -hmm. oh yeah my name is Kiwan. let me fuck you know what i'm saying no yeah it's my relationship same way as an artist going to a dj you can't say hey spin my record Perfect. right it's come from credibility credibility is good in the street and credit is good in the business world so those words are very important Mm -hmm. so you have to build that rapport with people and feel it to fill people out that might not even be who you need to talk to right. he might be the first thing in the world to help you right just because they big and powerful and this and that that might not be no that might not be they, they don't mean they're compatible to you mm -hmm. just because she cute and he handsome they don't mean they're compatible mm -hmm. feel me so yeah. you gotta watch your approach and watch how you come and make sure your shit right you know it might not be you may not be in your time of life to even talk to that person in a certain manner it may not be you may not be ready yet you can't come to a label and be like oh, okay just because they own a label and i know i can rap let me go talk to it no you need to get your views up you need it ain't exactly. the time now, <laughs> push yourself and be like hey i'm such such you know my views and all that ain't there yet but i'm on a mission look out for me yeah good yeah. to meet you what you doing i'll be there soon you know <laughs> stuff like I saw that with 50 Cent when he said, I want to do just approach them. I listen to my stuff. And 50 was like, hey, man, bro, I'm chilling with my. You don't just run up on nobody and say that, bro. Oh, man, you get shot out here these yeah. days. And I even read 50's uh, last book, uh, The Hustle Harder one. And he was just talking about how the dude came to him and was like, hey, uh, I can make your website better. You know what I'm saying? Instead of him coming up saying, put me on, he offered him a service that could. You know, help him, and he's like, in turn, it really did work, and he brought him on as his, you know, overseer of the websites, and brought him on as a photographer and all type of stuff. So, like you said, it's all about the approach on how you approach people too. So, yeah, yeah. people. I mean, years ago, this business, that's my business partner's man. So, mm. man, on a random, hey, what's up? And then me going back to the Instagram, seeing what they're doing, and then seeing what they they didn't approach me about that. They approached by something else. I just went and looked at what they was doing. It was like, I'm interested in that right there. You see what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. that's just how it go. Like, I can talk to you about rapping, go to your house, and then we'll end up leaving talking about a film. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It go, but I got to be cool enough to go to your house. Cool yeah. enough to talk to you twice. You know what I'm saying? We did that Talk about something else. Like, hey, bro, let's do this film. And then, uh, and then. So you you know me, I, I ain't gonna get into all the messy stuff. You know all the stuff already going out. So uh, with the you know the Nelly and the Ali stuff. So my uh, question is, do you see? I'm I'm, I'm gonna start asking the opposite question. How uh, you feel about the uh, the whole thing? Yeah, how it look? So I don't know how it look on my. I want to know how it look from everybody else. From from from, from, from listening to to both of them. Um, even like at the awards, I think no matter what, like <clears throat> if you have, a, even if you have a disagreement with each other, I still feel you should, he should have announced Ali because he, he was a vital part of all the success. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of what issues I have now, this was a person that was part of your success. So I still think he should acknowledge them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think, um, as far as the other, like the little beef or whatever, I, I don't know. You know, I'm not inside the circle. We only can see what we see. But in that aspect, I feel that he should have at least acknowledged. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, 
What do you feel about that? About that part of it? Yeah. Uh, you should acknowledge it. Yeah, he should acknowledge it. Uh, for, for Lifetime Award thing, yeah. anything like yeah. if it was a song he just did or something, then uh, <coughs> I can understand it. But if it's something about Lifetime, about how we got started and what yeah. the lessons and all that shit, yeah, you got involved all of that. So it just be weird. You know what I'm saying? All that shit be weird to me. So I don't really know how to be. I just learned not to really put myself in other people's shoes and tell me in other people's shoes. So I feel you. Um, all right, moving on from there. What tick, I don't know what tick them off, what tick them off, all that shit, mm-hmm. you know. But I just know it respectfully. I know that Ali helped a lot with. Oh yeah, so, just listening to him, even listen to both of their interviews, even even listen to Tanelli interview. I can tell Ali helped a lot. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, right. I feel you. Listen to his and I feel. You. Yeah, yeah, just listen to both of there. So, but anyway, on on, on, on kind of hard to skip over, but I think um. The future is what you make it. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just everybody got different approaches to to uh, feelings. You know what I mean? So it's a lot of shit that happened, but a lot of shit happens because it's you know sometimes it's because it's their first time. You know, and sometimes first time can last twenty years. That's your first time. You know what I mean? <laughs> so you know, like. I'm guaranteed two trains ain't gonna do what he did when he was with DTP that he doing now. Exactly. Yeah. Lil Wayne ain't doing the same thing he was doing with that before he did for after he got the money back from uh Cash Money Universal. So it it's it's a, a lot of first times. It just be so big that you seeing me you, you seeing me shooting in the gym for real all my life because you know CEOs are created when they fifty fives and shit. Mm-hmm. Right. Big so we gotta look at it like that. A lot of times we be in a race because for one, we dying young and we want it right now because if I get it when I'm 50, I ain't gonna be able to go to the club in a in a uh, in a Lamborghini. So mm-hmm. we rush, we rush into what we need to do in our learning capabilities. But if we really want to rush, we can just teach the younger people now that's coming up next, and then they get it faster than we got it. Mm-hmm. You know, they ain't gotta go through that 20 year learning process. Indeed, facts. Uh, let me ask you this on um, last question on that. From your perspective, do you think either one of them was more wrong, or do you just think that's just how they see things in their own way? No, I I agree with a lot of things, and I disagree with a lot of things. So it's to it's to your it's to your liking, it's to whatever you feel like in your way. I can see. Okay. All right, let me ask you this. Moving on to this next topic. Okay, right. Lack of communication. So that's period. Yeah. So now just listening and hearing how people feel. Lack of communication. Yeah, I think egos always play a part in that. Like, uh, I was just listening to my pastor. He was saying a conversation is not for the other person to just be waiting to rebuttal what you're saying. You know, it's actually listening. You know what I'm saying? Trying to understand and feel how that person feeling instead of like, ready to combat what they're saying you know what i'm saying so i think uh i think egos always try to play a part into you know because things can be handled with the conversation uh like what about no conversation though huh about no conversation though you saying if you don't have no conversation yeah what about the no conversation part like that's the whole that's even deeper that's why you should have a conversation. That, that, that's why I feel you should not let anything linger. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if you feeling something, get it out because stuff builds up. You Like, it can build up over the years and then this person may not even know and then you might step in them. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel, especially if you had that relationship, man, you should be able to talk to brother, sister, mama's cousin, anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, or... It probably was if you don't do that, then it's the, probably whether you didn't feel like it was a friendship at all. You know what I'm saying? No, I think we talk to people that we don't know more than we talk to people we know. Yeah, that's a fact too. Yeah, that's media is big, and that's why weird. that's why nosiness overrides the whole world. Nosiness yeah. is what runs getting in your ears. <laughs> it's just it's just nosy. Just you know, even I was talking to somebody about Meek Mill, a Meek Mill. Uh, they said he flopped. I was like, how do you know that? Like, how do we know? <laughs> so, 
So with you, like, like you understand that you can go on the site and you can see, like in the movie world, you can see what they made. You can see how much they spent, what they made overseas. Yeah. You can't really do that in a record business because, for one, the people with control of the money is trying to hide the part that they spent. Anyway. Exactly. exactly. So, you're part. so how do you know what's a flop? Because it's by profit margin. Right. So if I'm not putting enough money into making your album be as much, because you can just pay for it. You can just pay for, you know, it's a certain way you pay for it, but you can pay for it. You can pay for get being somebody being able to get a chance to listen. Once you're once you're big like Meek, once you once it's in my RAM, I'm gonna say, here, I'm gonna push it. Mm -hmm. He ain't doing that bad to not push it. Not so, that's, so that's all streams are. It's to push it. So they make us as artists think that streams run the world and it's kind of really giving it's really giving your shit away, right? Exactly. Back. Look at some restaurant, look at the menu and then leave. So how does, <laughs> how does it build if you just coming in and leaving, if you're not spending no money with me? Exactly. Spend money with Spotify's and Apples and us. When you spend money with me. So now they mind frame. Customers, my friend, is I supported you because I listened. Exactly. <laughs> That's the real talk. You ain't well, like capital to get enough to get in front of people with the name. Then your streams are at medium. So now you got to see average, and now you only making three or four grand a month. So how can you live off that? How can I put money back into me being big if I ain't making no money? But I'm spending way more than that to make the album, right? So that's why even with Murph, with Murph album, we give you the singles on platforms, but the album is is store dot newmurf dot com. It's ten dollars. If you don't, if you don't like it, bring it back. That's what I. Hey, that's yeah. a great, that was a great thing too. I, uh, I'd rather sell thirty thousand, forty thousand copies than to get a million streams. Fact. You get more money. Yeah. <laughs> if, if, if I'm not finna get 30 million streams, then yeah. I'm no the money. Point? Yeah. You can people to look at you and like you and all that shit, but you can do that with a single, then that's case. And that's so, like you can tell all your true supporters. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like and we actually have those. So why do we lose by just saying being so happy with having something outside? Yep. we be so happy with with uh people noticing you yeah people really love fame over <laughs> I, I see that a lot you know people will choose the fame over the money up at this pit, so. every do, time do you think uh the even though you know technology has helped artists do you think it's hurt them also like you said with the streaming it's not like back in the day we used to be able to sell physical albums for real like they can cut out dvd cds and all type of stuff now yeah they definitely go because they couldn't wait to cut out cds bro like you don't even people don't even know like the shab so fast like they don't even understand that two things is why it happened fast one they already saw this seeing tv do it we've been paying for cable forever yeah and getting free TV. <laughs> you feel me? Because one thing, it just feel like you're paying charter and then I can get 140 channels. So it feel like <laughs> I can flip in time to what? It's like the movies, right? Exactly. So then the second part is the people that manufacture and people that pay for manufacturing of creating the CD, the physical thing, mm -hmm. it's costing them up front. Mm -hmm. So if I can sell you, it's like money. It's like you get paid from your job, but they pay it. They It's a number they send to a place that hold a number. And when you're ready for it, you can get it, but you're not going to get it physical. You tell me what number you want us to send a number to, Crazy. which is you paying your bills through a number. You would never touch it. If Oprah go ask for our money back right now, cash, they ain't got it. That's crazy, bro. So imagine, imagine trying to supply all the targets, all the WalMarts, all the mom and pop, all the radio, all the physical copies. Yeah. I'm spending money on that. I'm spending forty cent, ninety cent, 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So when you sold a million, I spent a million to even get, even make that. So mm-hmm. now when everybody come out, even if you're terrible, I'm spending so much money already. So now the recoupment is different. So I read, now they already spend that money on marketing. Mm-hmm. It's just the business. So that's why it happened so fast. Like, yeah, I remember even the Apple computer, they stopped making the CD players on the side and all that type of stuff. They were like, nah, CDs is gone up out of here up in this place. But let me ask you this, Kiwa. What do you think about the council culture, like the how to, you know, the LGBT, the LBGTQ community kind of council days? It's like they messing with your amendment rights, you know, your freedom of speech. What do you think about? all this council culture, trying to counsel the baby and all this type of stuff. How can you counsel me if you never had me? Mm. He wanna always be dropping them jewels up at this chick. In order to have, in order to counsel, you have to book it. You have to be there and be involved with it. If you're involved in him, then you know who he is and you know what he said. He didn't even say nothing bad. He was telling you a lot of the truth of how it is. So a lot of times, even with that, I understand some of it because I look at it almost like how us as us as black people, we had to go through some of the things of you guessing or because I'm that you're acting like this. Now that's the part that ain't. I'll be like, well, so why you say that? Or why it got to be? You know what I'm saying? Like why is jokes on him? Or why is I can't drink from that soda. I turn gay. Like, you know, <laughs> so different than how they were doing us. Like, I ain't getting in that pool. They just jumped in that, a Negro jumped in that pool. I'm not swimming in that. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that type of stuff is what be like, no, nah, we ain't doing that. That's different. You know what I'm saying? That's a whole nother thing. Now, how you pressing it and how you making everybody feel so comfortable with this situation, that's the part that's not really scientific. That's the that's the part on something else. You know what I'm saying? That's something else. Uh, do you so feel like for, they trying to be bullies or something exactly what you're doing but in, in order to counsel me just don't listen that's easy it's oh, that shit tight that shit easy if i don't want to hear a black joke i'm not watching archie monka you know what i'm saying exactly that, don't watch it plain and but simple you, that, i say that all the time oh you mad because i like it <laughs> yeah, that's don't, that's common that. sense I mean, with certain people like Trump, you ain't you ain't cancel that. You ain't cancel that. Exactly. Yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? Exactly. Hey man, you be dropping some jewels, man. All right, man. Let me let me tell you. Let me ask you this. I love talk that shit time. You know what I'm saying, bro? You know you always be the dope artist. Where you go drop your own project, bro? Man, as soon as the system, as soon as we get in the system right. For real, man, we've been waiting for years and years, bro. You dope. <laughs> Thank you, man. I'm just, t- I'm just telling the news, man. I ain't really concentrate hard yet. I just didn't want to get into it until we're able to find a, a system to where I can get it to my people the correct way, and I ain't got to worry about the whole full system. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. if I just feel like I put all my energy in behind Murph, excuse me, I put all my energy behind Murph. And I know he the I know he the he the truth. So it's just a he, I ain't crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's a full blown artist, and he can make it happen easier. That same way we did with Nelly, we, we put our energy into that because we knew the total package of what would be easier for you to like, or who can handle the pressure, and you know all that shit. Like we knew all that. It's just about opening the door and then be like, come on. You know what I'm saying? Do you, do you, do you may not be you. See, just because you did it that way, that don't make it mean that I'm going to do it that way. So that's what the part we got to understand. Like, or do you get inspired when you do do songs? Is it something that like inspire you? Like, oh, let me hop on this track. Or I really ain't never did no song. That's really my only song. Oh, yeah, you just drop verse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, but even that, I got my brothers there. So I, I ain't really know, I don't be thinking of it like that. I be trying to sell the dope it's mm-hmm. more than make the dope. So mm-hmm. that's just my job. We ain't sitting down to say, hey, that's your job, but I know what I'm good at. I'm good at selling, selling the dope. 
package of dope, sell the dope. I know how to package it, I know how to sell it. Yeah, I know how to make it, make that shit. <laughs> so is there any good dope now? Is there any uh, St. Louis artist that's gonna come up that you like or you know think that's gonna blow up in it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, you think? Could you think, Papa? You like? Yeah. <laughs> Too many. You ain't got like, no, like two or three in particular that you think, hey, this superstar right now on the rise is getting. You talking about like? You talking about like full blown, like the look, the look, the videos they out here doing their thing. All that. The people they around. Yep. It's about four of them. It's about four or five of them. The answer, it's, it's some people that, that's, it's some sneaky people out here, like J-Baby, like, mm-hmm. he's sneaky. You know what I'm saying? He over there with Smino and them, and we doing this thing. You got, uh, that's Penelope, son. Okay. You got, you got like, Fresco. Ooh, Penelope. You got Fresco, you got. uh How Fresco K? Yeah. You got JR, what, Junior? You got uh, Tef Poe. Oh, yeah, Tef, that's my boy. Salute, Tef. That's a different style of getting it. You feel what I'm saying? Um, you got your young ones, but the young ones, it just be kind of like, you know, they got a lot to battle. Mm-hmm. Like, they battle, like, court dates. Oh, yeah. <laughs> death right. threat. Threatening death. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So... <laughs> I'm for real, like you yeah. know, they got. You know what I'm saying, if they able to get it and go over and go ahead and get it, then then you got you can you can push like yeah. like thirty deep. You know what I'm saying? Uh, LA foes. Oh, yeah, man, it's a gang of artists out here though. So yeah, I, I just started seeing. You know, I haven't been tapped into the St. Louis market in a minute, but I started got, tapping in, and I'm like, dang, it's a lot of artists. <laughs> And Lewis got a, a, a hundred motherfuckers. Yeah. I saw some dude named Jizzle something, Bucks or something like that. Yeah, just, like Jizzle, but I like uh, half, though. I like half. Mm. I was half. Like, I was like, it's a lot of, it's a lot of artists. Uh, <laughs> What's they name? Half who? Uh, half. All right, I'm going to check them out. Don't talk about the midget. I ain't, yeah. I ain't tapped in. <laughs> Bro, I'm going to have to check it out. He, I'm saying he be with Jizzle. He part of their crew. Oh, okay. Yeah, half I, I tapped into Jizzle. I just see like one or two. Right. Of the video. Like I like him. So. Jizzle got a movement, but like as far as like words, Jizzle speak his mind. Mm-hmm. Like, it come out. That's how I be feeling with me. Mm-hmm. But like putting that shit together, half hard. I, I like half. Check about. But it. like you got King. Like you got King. You got Rucker. You right. got. You can't forget about none of that. You know what I'm saying? You got. Uh, you check out T Dubbo. Yeah, T Dubbo. Yeah, T Dubbo hard. Um, oh, that whole crew, like man, it's so many motherfuckers. Man. What about G Stoic? <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh, uh, let me ask you something, bro. Uh, oh yeah, man, I just found out something I didn't even know that happened, bro. Uh, I heard you had a stroke. What happened with that? Yeah, I had a stroke uh, last year. Like, uh, would you stress what brought that out? Can't be nothing but because everything else checked out. I don't even, they don't really even know. Yeah. But I just had to do my own analogy and just, I just did what I could. I lost about 10 to 15 pounds. Working out. That's what I started doing. I'm like, I see you a vegan and everything. Health, I know health is, people don't know health is very important. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, definitely. So that's what they were saying. Like, that shit was deep, but they helped though. I don't want people to think, oh, he ate, he ate like that and still had a stroke. Like, not a stroke for one, stroke is mental. Exactly. Um, and no, it didn't have a lot to do with, do with a lot of that. A lot of that actually helped me to be able to be right here talking and not come out feeling a certain way or looking a certain way. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. but I definitely go through a lot of mental problems now. So, it be on me, but it, it keep me sitting down a little more. Like all the anxiety words and all the stuff people throw out there in the world, and you ain't that shit real. You know what I'm saying? So I can be sad. I can be. I'm sensitive as fuck as far as like 
my inside ain't sensitive, my but my outside sensitive. So I can be watching the first 48 and then ain't cry. Because mm-hmm. little dude got jammed up because he with him. You know what I'm saying? Like I know he wasn't even bad, it was him. And he with him. You know what I'm saying? I straight cry. A young black man finna go to jail. Like I'll be on that. Like I straight cry, dog. Like right here, like damn. I straight like, what's wrong with you? Like, I've done that too, bro. For real. That's that's real. Like, <laughs> like, like I can't handle shit. You know what I'm saying? So when certain people do shit and handle, like I'll be like, I go like I can't look at it. Like I can't look at like when what happened to Holla last week. I can't like, yeah, oh man, that was sad, I, bro. I can't tap in because I I go through it. Like, I'm going through it now, it's just it's catching up right now. So I'm talking about, but I'm just saying, like certain shit, I just can't even handle. I just yeah. I gotta go. Bro, I don't even like people know me, I ain't even a supporter of guns, but listening to that story, like, bro, I gotta get me a gun. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, cause there's people out here that are just trying to harm you, bro. It's just crazy, bro. Like, yeah, and I fucked up part about it. And I'm, you know, even when it happened, I just me and Murph was analyzing how people's mind frames is and how the world is, is that we'll separate and try to figure out what Holla did wrong. Instead of trying to figure out there's some crazy motherfuckers out here. Exactly. Who did so that's crazy. That's how the world is though. He right. should move like he hanging around. So he, he put money on his wrist and you know what I'm saying? All that extra shit. We're trying to help the, the good. So he do good in life and he can't yeah, enjoy it. <laughs> do nothing. Yeah. Because it's crazy motherfuckers out here, cuz like that's what I'm talking about. So all that shit be like fucked up. Cause soon as it happened, I'll be thinking about my my wife, I be thinking about how he feel, yeah. all, all that shit to catch up. Cause I already am a person that take in other people's problems when I'm around them. <clears throat> that, that's why I just learned just to stay over here. Like, because I come in the room and talk and you are talking, I'd be like, I'd be at home thinking about your idea, about how can I help yours. I give you all my ideas for that motherfucker. <laughs> like whatever makes it better. If yours is better than mine, I'm gonna do yours first. I mean, like, you got a generous heart, bro. Yeah, <laughs> but fuck me up sometimes. I gotta learn when to balance that shit and like when it's just it's so generous i can't stop it so i just don't be around because i give you my last or i give my idea or i know my shit be fire i ain't crazy i don't think <laughs> i know how to, like, how to think like moving is a different story like we can get that together but yeah thinking oh but y'all can't fuck <laughs> it. you don't want to mess with my mind you don't want to fuck with this mind this motherfucker <laughs> trip boy <laughs> What you think about the uh the the vaccine? You know, people try to force people to get it. Some people take it. Some people saying they on against it. What are your thoughts on that? <clears throat> they offer Shit. people lotteries and donuts and all type of stuff. I know why they doing that. That's <laughs> why I'm like, like, why are you offering people lottery tickets, bird vaccine? I mean, donuts. Right. You know what I'm saying that's the whole point. Like, why are you doing that? Like, how you do it so fast? Like, how, like, why y'all still going through shit? Why are you getting the third one now? Why is it a new one? Why is it? It's too much, too early. Booster all shots. This, all this shit is business. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, if, if if I'm like, if the people who get it is good, why do the people who? Why you try to force the people who don't want it to get it? If the people who got it gonna be good. Cause they ain't good. Ah, you, <laughs> right, you just ain't gonna die fast. <laughs> Get a shot. Get it. You just ain't gonna die that fast. Oh yeah. Oh bad facts. <laughs> so what if I'm allergic to something in there? Then you might die fast. <laughs> what? 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 We oh, I have to understand is that it's called practicing medicine. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's funny, bit of word. That's real though. It's called practicing medicine, right? Am I lying? <laughs> you the truth. So that's why they be like, look, look at all the old her take these and call me in the morning. Why am I calling you in the morning? I don't call, it's, listen, okay, put it this way. And when you'll get your brakes done on your car. You don't have to call them people in the morning to see if it worked. No. Okay. <laughs> imagine, imagine if you did though. You'd be like, exactly. Hey, my so, brakes. <laughs> right. I got my, I got my kid in the car. I'm finna just guess. I'm finna guess if my brake worked. No, y'all practice medicine. That's dope. 
y'all straight give me some shit and be like, call me if it don't work for you. I got nothing. Yeah. What if I'm allergic to something there? There you go. I got, I got nothing for that. Now you got two of them. I got you. You got insurance, don't you? Go and get it so we can get paid more from the government because they invisible money. Oh, man. Bro. It's invisible money. I can just give you a number. Keyword drop a jewel. He dropped a jewel, man. Drop a jewel. And give you a reasonable number. Here, take this money. How much? How much? Oh, you eighty-two dollars for that pill? For how many pills? Six. Eighty-two dollars a month. Here. <laughs> how much you gotta pay? Ten. Imagine if everybody to get medicine really had to pay what it cost. Oh man. People eat different. Facts. <laughs> Facts, bro. If if you really got that two hundred forty-nine dollars a month on that pill. <laughs> Keep your blood, man. You right, hold on. Let me get this. Let me get that salad though. <laughs> <laughs> salad on rye. Sorry, McDonald's. <laughs> man, but, uh, let me ask you this, uh, Kiwi. Are you uh, doing anything in film? Are you trying to get back in film or do anything? Yeah, man. I definitely am. I just got a call a little while ago, man. Talking to my people. Uh, I was talking to Craig, actually. You know, Craig. Craig Black. Craig. I don't know Craig, man. Craig who? I think I, I heard that name. I probably do know him. You know, it's a lot of people in the fan world. Yeah, he shot the same. Shot the, uh, he shot the basketball movie. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I know. Yeah, yep, yep, I know. Yeah, he got some shit going on. Need to, work with, need to work with me, the best friend, writer, and director, St. Louis. <coughs> you can collab. Up. Facts. That's a fact. That ain't no... How that's not no opinion. <laughs> How do we... Get how do we get to the best part? Because I'm the best. <laughs> my accol my yeah. accolades prove it. First off, I can write the best stories. If you have any, you show me any St. Louis story, I'm going to show you one better in my field. I done won multiple awards up in this book. Not just from, you know, the black people, from the white people too, bro. I'm just the best people. Everybody respect just your boy. And I'm the best. <laughs> That is my moniker. When anybody see me, they be like, oh, this is like, he the best. You know, I speak it into existence, so it is. Bars. So what do the best get you? <laughs> they give you. So the best, it, so it don't get it. Listen, I ain't looking for that to get. I'm just stating the fact of this book. Okay. I am the best fit in it. So let me tell you, the best get me, the best has got me multiple it has gotten me to the point where i'm able to live my best life without any worries like i live i live i live in a gray <laughs> gray loft i just went to hawaii felt like it was like me spending five dollars like i am the most comfortable i get all people come to me to do commercials like I, i'm never i never go without work fails do no, that's what no, that's what that's what being uh that's what being a a good director and filmmaker does. Mm -hmm. I say, what does the best get you? That's that's what the best gives you. The best brings the people to you. Like I just, for instance, you, okay, I know I, I, love, I know a lot of filmmakers. Oh, what, what, you saying it or you doing it? I'm doing it. Look, I know a lot of filmmakers so here. What does saying it get you? That's what I'm talking about. What saying? Oh, okay, so. That gives, me, that gives me the people because once you once I keep saying this and they hear it, if they hear if let's say they want to do a film, who they gonna go to? The person who says they're the best or first say I do films. The who you gonna go to? Who you gonna go to? And get them some, get them the, the link and they go look at this shit. You said what? The person that give them, give them the link and go look. You know how when we used to go to Saints back in the day in the palace and shit, right? Yep. It's, Six people with like Paisley shirts, mm -hmm. but down top right here, and they had the curl, and they had like a tail, and they was doing all the. They might even be doing like nasty '69 boy ass shit, mm -hmm. and it'd be like three or four girls that like that shit, mm -hmm. and they be good looking girls. They love that shit. They be like, <clears throat> I'm. In. But the other eighty, fucking with a nigga like me, so mm -hmm. all I'm saying is that you saying it also. Mm -hmm. shuts down a certain uh brotherhood 
Now, if you don't need nobody, then fuck it. But we all need somebody, right? Yeah. So, because we don't know what that means. Yet. Elaborate more on it. I, I don't think it does, but elaborate okay. more. I just felt weird. So I'm like, nigga, you should give me your hook. Now I'm the best hook maker in the world. I'd be like, I don't like your attitude. Now, <laughs> let me say this now. Okay. Before you, finish, be like, before you, you the finish, best hook before in the world. Finish. Like, how is you the best director St. Louis in the world? No, let me, I ain't say the world. In, in St. Louis, that's the world. That, right? Okay. Well, okay. So let me show you. Let me, so let, let me, and, let me, and make in time or trying to find out another person that's trying to knock your wall down. So look, let me you say this to you. It's man, a lot of people like what I do, man. Check me out. But when you say the best to a nigga who my publishing name is the best, my alcohol was the best. So I mm -hmm. know the best. Mm -hmm. I would I would have got you to do something because you say you're the best. I'm down with it. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna let that speak for you. So so let me break this down. You see me. I want to say you see me every time I put on public. Go ahead. Keep, keep wonderful. Let me break this down. So <clears throat> I've learned this alone. I forgot where I learned it from. But I learned you speak it and you manifest it. Even in like the secret. Speak know, you no, speak no, no, no. Hold on, wait speak. a minute. Huh? That's, a lot of times we speak half the truth. So wait it a sounds, minute. Wait a minute. Let me finish. Let me finish though. So yeah. I learned this from the secret. Once you manifest, you manifest your thought. So by me saying the best, like I go on every platform that is like my moniker. But also... Anybody who meet who you ask about me, they would tell you I am the most humblest down to earth person. So when I say I know the best, I, I know I say you. I'm the I best, know who, I'm like, I, I know who you. I know who you are. I said with you a lot of times. Yes, that's why it messed me up when you said it. So, so, so if you was if you was hollers, if you was somebody that felt that you know, I would have said it would it would went with your character. It don't it don't go with your character. It's what I'm really trying to say. So. Really, if you say you cold, if you can use the same words, just get a you a rapper too. Mm -hmm. So you can use a different metaphor or a different thing to get your point across. That's what I'm trying to say. That won't down the people that you don't know you down it. It ain't a down. They ain't gonna leave there and say this nigga said he the best. They ain't gonna do that. <laughs> but in the inside, in the inside, it makes me kind of like not fuck with you a little bit mm -hmm. because that's your attitude, and I know damn well that ain't your day to day. On us, oh, yeah, on not, the not, at all, not at all, bro. I know that. So why would you give me? Why would you wear like? Why would you wear a jogging suit? Being a girl, why would you wear a jogging suit and walk with somebody? Be like, I'm a hoe. Oh, I got, I got. It, her go, it, her, her it go just one. don't match. It don't match it. Her go one for you, right? You can say a word that say you the best, but yeah. just that word, the best. That's I feel like here go one for you, right? Yeah. So. Stephen Curry probably, you know, humblest person in the world, but he is the best shooter. He know he's the best shooter up in his team. Like, he's the best three-point shooter, the best shooter, period, up in the world. So, in competition, okay, cool, no. look, in okay. competition, are you... Listen. Are you okay, now, okay, now listen. You said yeah. Steph Curry person's on TV every second of their life. Yeah. It's, it's damn near known by everybody, white, black, blue, green, and green. Everybody don't know you the best uh, filmmaker, man. So it don't, okay. it don't, it okay. So it don't sound the same. What about because battle? Now, what about battle? Why the fuck is this nigga? I'm trying to figure out why the fuck is I ain't talking about me. I want to why the fuck is this nigga saying this shit? If you think that's your angle of that's like just because Fifty Cent went and dissed everybody, they ain't everybody way to get on. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. So what, I'm what saying, about battle I'm saying, rappers? Yeah, but you're not when you're doing film. So you have to figure out. <laughs> Which job you in? <laughs> I'm listening you to wanna, you. Keep you want you, you want a swimsuit to a motherfucking baseball game? I, I so love what it. I'm saying. Yeah, I love it. The debate. I'm listening to you, so I'm trying to hear what you, you know. The, because I want you to win, so I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm just telling you how I feel. So I wouldn't even say it if I if I was rolling with you. I'm like nigga, that nigga say you the best. Keep going. No, I'm telling you that because it threw me off. Mm. So, and, I, and I'm a person, and I'm a person that can hire you. So that's why I'm saying. I'm a person that hire you, and I can person that be a business partner with you. I'm both of them, uh, right? Uh -huh. So as a business partner, want to be with you, I kind of don't because you said that. But I know who you are, so I'm not saying that. Uh, but if I, if I'm just meeting you yesterday, and you said that, you might not even say it to them though. But I'm just saying. So you probably said that because you're comfortable with me, and uh, you just said that shit. So I'm not even on you like that. I'm just telling you. I'm just talking. But I'm, I'm listening. 
I'm listening to because it it, it it makes people like I'm not like I'm not gonna go outside now. I'm the best dressed nigga in, in this whole motherfucking city because I'm not, but I am. <laughs> so I'm not because I'm not in red bottom right now with a thick sole and I ain't got on Dolce Gabbana jeans. But I am because if you give me hundred twenty dollars and get you hundred twenty dollars, you can't fuck with me. Let me because ask now you. I'm gonna go back. I can bring you down to earth. Let me ask you this last question dealing with that. Okay. So, you know, like I look at things as a competition, right? So, let's say in the battle rap world, right? Aver, cocky, talk shit, I'm the best, right? He sells tickets. People don't want to mess with a person in the battle rap world who humble down. They, they don't sell, they like, even if you the talented nigga, they just sweep them under the butt of the. The rug, but if you be like, "Hey, I'm the best. I'll kill this nigga. I'll destroy this thing." That make people like, "Oh, I can sell this. I can make money with this." So, what do you say about that? Because it's the same, Mister. It's not the same. How you make it the same? You just made it the same. No, because Bo- boxing. Said, listen, if anybody, listen, you said, if you say you're the best, then right. that's gonna make people not want to fuck with you. But in that arena, if you don't that's say not, you're the best, that, that, that's not the arena we in. But it should go for any arena, though. No, it don't go for any arena. That's not a competition. That's not even, yeah, you're not in that. Why you got that evilness over here? If you a hit man, you go to work in the day, you're going to take your hit man job to your work. No, No. that's a different night. Mm -hmm. That's at night. You be the best shooter at night. You don't say that shit at this meeting. (laughs) (laughs) No, but I wouldn't say it. So in the battle rap, if I said, if you said, if I said, yeah, I can start throwing battle raps and you say, nigga, come on, I eat any nigga. (laughs) I would have said nothing. Yeah. We talking about film. You say you the best director. Then you gave me a list of accolades. Just give me the accolade. Just don't even give me the accolades. Just say I'm cold. Don't forget about your boy. Keep moving. All right. I'm cold. Don't forget about your boy. I'm gonna take right. that into consideration. Right. But say you I'm know? cold though. Say you cold. You you could say you cold. That feels the same energy to you, right? A little yeah, bit. I'm cold. Okay. Cool. <laughs> you say you the best. Oh my god. I'm you cold. Nigga. Right. Say you cold. Favorite rappers. The coldest. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the coldest nigga. I'm cold. I'm cold. I'm cold, nigga. I'm right. cold at it, All not right. the cold this. I'm cold this. I'm cold at. I'm cold at this. I'm cold at that. Right. I'm not the coldest. Take on what you said. Keep what. Thank you. Man. All right. You been you been you been here for a while, so I'm gonna listen to you. I'm Thank you. Say. With that being said, you need to work with your boy. <laughs> I'm the best, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, we need to work on some stuff for this. Did you move back to St. Louis? Sometimes. Okay. Uh, oh yeah. So, uh, are you? So, is that the only film project you're working on with Craig? No, I, I'm not. I'm not working on that with Craig. He just was doing something, and I just enjoy talking to him. Uh, but he's he's a mentor, and I'm a mentor. Okay. So we mentor each other on different things. You feel? Do you but, go into uh, the schools and talk and stuff? Still? Uh, that's what I'm onto. The same thing I was talking to you about then, I haven't done yet. Uh, and it's just that time. I saved that time then, but I know for sure, 140 murders later. <laughs> that's what 140 murders later. <laughs> that is that time. Hey, I, I got your back. You already know I'm down. You ever drank Reaper? You ever drank Reaper that was white? That was clear? I, I hate Reaper. <laughs> Have you ever drank soda that was clear? Yeah, I drank that Pepsi clear before. I remember they used to have that. I don't, I, I, I don't drink I soda no more. I drink I about trickery. <laughs> so not the trickery. So right, it's a this is, right. This is right. This is this is this is veganized, man. I say I'm gonna say that. Just uh, say that. Ain't, no ain't no bag. It's just you get the flavor. You got the shit. It's cane sh- real sugar. and ain't that bullshit. Mm-hmm. And they give you that same thing. So they got like Dr. Pepper, cola, orange, grape, but it it'd be like that. It'd be like a best soda, but it'd be clear. Like instead of being purple, it'd be clear like at the full color. Up. I drink something probably yeah. better than that. Have you ever drank sparkling ice? You talking about in the clear bottle? What you mean? No, sparkling. Hold on, let me show you real quick. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, with the little fruit. Uh, let me show you a bottle of hold on. I don't know if you can see this right here. Can you see? Hold on. Yeah, that'd be at the, be at the stores. Yeah, and the guy got, got no sugars, no calories, no nut. That is tastes delicious. I don't drink sodas no more, period. 
like I, I'm a type two diabetic, so I've been, you know, working out, try to stay away from a lot of the sugars and all that type of stuff. Try it out, you will like it. I mean, but I, I like it because then I got no food coloring and nothing up in there either. But yeah, I, the sparkle of ice got all natural stuff in it, but I love it. I don't have no sugar, no calorie, none of that type of stuff. So I got I got two more questions for you, bro. Okay. Uh, well, three more questions. What are some challenges that you faced in the industry that other artists should, or even film directors, anybody, or should look out for when they try to get into the entertainment? Uh, it's a thin line between perception and, and perception. Got that mean? <laughs> like you wanna? <coughs> it's hard because. You want to not care about it, but that's what's driving the engine is numbers. And, you know, it's like an alley hoop. It's like credibility. It's almost credibility. So really nobody wants to work. Mm -hmm. So they're really looking at numbers. But by the time you get those numbers, you're getting so much money and getting so much shit on your own that you don't want to deal with nobody no way. So if you want to be with a label type shit, you got to have the numbers. Mm -hmm. So the label won't have to do no work. They fired all them people that used to work. The people that used to pay 300000 a, a year and used to work records and <laughs> fuck with you and walk with you in the radio <laughs> station. <laughs> all that job's gone because they want you to do it on your own and then come to them. Uh -huh. So, but you got to know that by the time you come to them, either you're going to be tired and you want to go ahead and go, or you're going to be so smooth and grooving that they got to offer you so much money for you to go with them. Or you're going to be like, nah, I can do this myself. Fuck yeah. Exactly. Like, why do that? So, we make so, our so, it really, so it really, that's why you see a lot of people doing partnerships because by the time I'm up here, I'm already got something going, but I want to lower my workload and use their resources that they've had all their life. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Okay. That's, that's so, real. That's real. Uh, what is, what would you say? is the highlight of your career for being in this industry for some years? Uh, the highlight was talk that shit time. Mm. Why? <clears throat> because my first time not to see it, that I got to be, I chose to be did the hook. I um, took it down my lane. You know what I'm saying? And that's what, see, if you look at artists, right, if you look at groups and groups that have people that come solo out of groups, they doing it. And I'm going to say opinion, but it's really factual. Right? It's opinion because nobody did the other way. But it's factual that it's that it fails because when people say they want to do their own album, it's not really about being by yourself. But that's how it's looked at. Yeah. So really, it's about we chose that beat as a group. We chose that song. We chose that topic matter as a group. We chose how we look as a group, right? Uh -huh. So when you want to do your own, you want to pick that type of beat. So a lot of artists that go by themselves, like just imagine if if on Quavo album, his solo album, eight out of twelve of them songs are both of them still on there. But they doing it on what he likes. Exactly. I don't give a fuck who on the hood, I don't care what. It's what I like. Even if what I like is what we like, goddamn me. And I'm just getting more points from this album. Do it how you gotta do it. I don't care how we drive into the club. Today we drove your car. You just felt good about driving today. Okay, cool. But we still gotta go into the same club. So I might as well, might as well still keep the group feel and let me drive that train. So on that song, I drove that train. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like certain times I drive the train and didn't know it. Like I did the hooks for uh Greed. Hey, Emmy, what cake will do. Like on country ramp, like that was my hood, but that was out of my verse. 
Mm. But that's my, you know what I'm saying? And like on, um, what's the, uh, uh, the Kings of, uh, dang, what's the fuck song? Uh, I'm mad gone, bro. I had that weed, that's that weed. <laughs> no, I had a stroke, but weed that's bring that shit back. That is. <laughs> <laughs> King of the city, Kings of the city. Uh, shit, we did mm -hmm. uh, for the soundtrack. We did. Uh, I am the king. I am king of this city. Uh, Top yeah. down, ring the buffing like Diddy. That's yeah, my hook yeah. too. Yeah, I see That's just my vibe. But I, I'm just saying, like, I never picked a beat and did all that shit like by myself. I never like ain't like I did it. I never even wanted to. Yeah. It just ain't my thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's hard, it's it's easy for it not to be my thing when I'm around people that that's their thing. So yeah. when y'all going fast break, I don't mind dropping back on defense. Somebody got to drop back. So right. when it comes to music, the music making, I always drop back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that that ain't my like that ain't my uh. That's my least confident part of me. Yeah. Bro, you did an amazing job on that track, bro. Like setting it off and everything. You know, what I'm, I'm just talking that shit. <laughs> All right. Never, <laughs> ever, 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 ever had a fashion problem. Fuck with Love that flow on earth. But they tried to speed it up a little bit. I heard, you know what I'm saying? I was like, okay, trying to be like me. That was <laughs> <laughs> All right, keep wild. Look, my last question, bro. When it is all said and done, we were gone from this earth. What is it that you want people to know about Kiwan? I want them to know that I sacrifice a lot for others. And uh, I want people to know that I love that I'm trying to get to the movie shit. So if I die tomorrow, you'll know that I was I love his movies. <laughs> And I almost died last year, so I can say that. Like, that, yeah, yeah. just like that. And let y'all know that's important. <laughs> Life is important. Go get checked up. That's right. why uh, I think I had a stroke in the first place to say that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because you don't know something wrong until something wrong. Right. You don't walk around, tie your shoe, and check your blood pressure. Right. You know what I'm saying? So everybody need to get checked out. Uh, it ain't nothing. You know, my motto now for hospitals is it ain't nothing but a bill. Facts. <laughs> hey, I just went, bro, for real. I just went to get checked out just, just to go for a check over like two weeks ago. And they did the, what's the thing where they do when they, uh, you know, the man when they supposed to go up here, but, but they ain't have to do me like that. They was like, they can do check it through blood now. And I just got my stuff back. My A1C was 5.9, all my blood work. Like I just did it just to do it. You know what I'm saying? So I think people should do that all the time. Bro, get checked up. <laughs> Facts, bro. Okay, let's see, see, that's the weed. That's, that's the key wine weed now. Hey, key wine, bro, man. Listen, I appreciate you. Look, bro, I want you to come on. I do my podcast on Monday nights, bro. We be debating. We do it Mondays at 7 p.m. We debate about current topics and everything. I would love for you to come on there and be a guest, bro. Y'all don't want to debate with me, man. Man, we want to debate with you, bro. We want to debate with you, man. Is you free? Is you free Monday at 7 p.m., bro? Probably not. I think I got it. <laughs> Are you free <laughs> next Monday at 7 p.m.? <laughs> I want you to come on her and debate it's with physical. us. Physical? Nah, physical. It's just like this. And if we it's a, it's a group of us. We've been on Zoom. We've been doing it for three years. It'll be on uh, Our Heart Radio, spot everywhere up in this pit. I got a uh no, I ain't got that much weed left. I uh I got a show Saturday with Kansas City. I go to Lambda Sunday. We might be doing Beehive uh Monday. Okay, what up? What about a well, I'm, I'm gonna hit you up one of these Mondays to see if you're free because we do it on Monday nights. It's seven. Next week, not supposed to be doing the music Monday with Coalition. Every every Monday. No, they do it every Monday. I'm doing November uh, 8th, supposedly. Mm. You know what? Matter of fact, we'll do it one day when you free. We'll just call it a special edition up in this piece. Bars. There we go. So one day, 
next week sometime when you free. All right. Let me know we'll make it happen. I uh, promote So we be having our people in the comments. There we be debate. I I probably want you to uh probably come on our battle with the sexes debate. You know we do that once every month up in this piece. The battle of the sexes. What's that about? Women and women and men. You know how women don't understand men. Men don't understand women. So we ask those, those type of questions. And the, we got women on our debating with us. So you know what I'm saying. That's our popular show, most popular show. Yeah. Yeah, I think it will be a great debate. You just dropped a lot of Jews over here, so that's why I think. Yep. And I definitely know about women, me being a straight up original player, and now I'm super duper faithful, mm. super duper cold. <laughs> I told some <somebody> now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so I know both parts, but I really understand women. Understand uh, what's going on out here and why we feel a certain way about shit. Mm-hmm. All right, and so I guess one today too. Uh, yeah, I love I love her. Pick your brain. Got a tight hat can be on that show. You said what? Got a tight hat that can be on that show. That's all. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so yeah, one day I guess one day next week, probably whenever you free one one of them days after. Excuse me, man. I ain't, I ain't never free, man. Hey, well, one day, what look when you volu- listen, listen, humble man, when you volunteer your time to your boy. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be in. Look, I got. Listen, listen, bro, I got a, I got a bone to pick with you, bro. But what? You see, I've been trying to hit you, man. When I, I done try to hit you up a million times, like send me your number one. Why I take you a million times to send me your number? Mm. That's what's wrong with the world. You know what, man? Let me tell you something. You know, you gotta know. You one thing you gotta know is you definitely ain't the only person. So, all right, I feel good. I feel. I feel, I feel you good. Can't I'm, you, you, you can't say I'm irregular. And <laughs> back to the regular, the regular DM. Time is everything. So I take I take full responsibility. No, nah, you just did what you did. I'm just saying, don't let feelings in there. Nah, and I'm good. With you. Hey, you know, know it's a long, hey, long man, I, listen, I can't even I can't even look long and I can't do that. Like my mind ain't my mind different right now. So I trust I, me, I understand, I to, bro. I had to be gentle, gentle with my shit. I even that's why I, I was I was I'm I'm very paid. That's why I was even waiting for you to just be like text me back and say who this <laughs> as, soon, as soon as you hit me, I then I hit you right back. Yep. Facts. This time, this time. Facts. Yeah, you said who did G saw the cow? I'm like, okay. <laughs> All right, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna get you on the show. No, I'm tomorrow. I'm tomorrow. When you DM'd me, I answered. Oh, yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was in that. I was in that mode. Like, I don't. I didn't even get your mode. All right, here you go. Like, here you go. Yeah. Can't get dragged into nobody else's shit like when I when they feel like it. All right, I, I feel good now. You know what I'm saying? I'm better. <laughs> But now, bro, I want you next week, bro. I want you on the show. We'll do it, whatever. Yeah, I know you say you wait. For, what day you think you can do it? Let me let me record you before you get busy. Uh, I ain't got that in play because we just going, we just shooting a lot of videos and doing a lot of stuff like that. So I'll be open at some point. All right. Well, I, I'm going to probably hit you up. I'll Tuesday. Be in Atlanta. I'm going to um, hit you up Tuesday. We can schedule a day. I'll be in Atlanta, then I'll be in Dallas. You can do it anywhere. It's on Zoom. That's what I'm saying. I just need an hour of your time. Maybe an hour and a half. Oh, shit. All right. All right. So I'm going to hit you up probably Tuesday and we can try to come up with a date or something. So I'm going to uh, write this article. Uh, it'll probably probably be out depending on when I get to write this one. Probably either next week or the week after, after this piece. All right, so I appreciate you, man. Thank you for your time. We definitely got to work on, you know, that school stuff because you already know we've been talking about that forever. You already know I care about giving back to the community career. So yeah, you know, uh, you know, um, you know, uh, Stretch. Mm-mm, who is that? I probably know him. I'll I be hearing a lot of these names, bro. He went to your school. I mean, went to uh, Webster. He went to Webster too. Is that his real name? You know, goddamn well. <laughs> I probably know about. <laughs> I know you was gonna say that. 
I'm like, is that his yeah, real name? Yeah, long I don't know. I know so many people. I have to see. I have to see. I probably do know them. Though. If it, if they in a film were on nine times out of ten, I probably know it because you know we in, in the same field or whatever. So. All right. Yeah, boy. So yeah, we'll get back, man. I'm gonna get with you Tuesday, and we are gonna set it up because uh, I, man, I, it. I think it's gonna be a great topic for the battle of the sexes. Let's put this way. Hey, bro, I appreciate you. Thank you for giving your boy some time, man. You dropped a lot of jewels up in here. You had me laughing on the vaccine stuff. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, we're down. Keep what I appreciate you, bro. I'm going to holler at you. Man. <clears throat> peace. All right, peace out.